coming up in this video. We're going to be cleaning these filthy wheels with the Auto Glim wheel cleaning kit. The wheel cleaning kit comprises of three items. So in this video, you're going to see us clean the wheels with clean wheels. We're going to dress the tires with the instant tire dressing, and then we're going to get the wheels protected with the spray on protector just to lock in all that hard work we've done. So the clean wheels instructions say to make sure that the wheel is cool. Uh, we apply a liberal amount, we agitate it, and then we uh, rinse away. Um, it also encourages you to use it to clean the tire wall just so the dressing has a better finish. Before all that though, we need to rinse off the loose dirt and brake dust that's on the wheel. Um, the idea being here, if we get the loose stuff out of the way, then the wheel cleaner can really work and penetrate the baked on brake dust. So once we get all that rinsed off, we can move on to applying clean wheels onto the wheel. It's got this neat little mesh over the trigger, which allows the product to foam up as it's being sprayed onto the wheel. This essentially helps it to stick onto the wheel and dwell for that little bit longer, giving you a little bit more cleaning effectiveness due to the fact that it is staying put uh, exactly where you need it. Now that's all applied, uh, we just need to let it dwell and then we'll move on to agitating it with a selection of brushes. Now that's had sufficient time to dwell, we can move on to cleaning it. So first I'm going to start with the wheel barrels uh, and for that I'm going to use uh, wheel woolies. The larger one is going to be for the larger open spoke areas and the majority of the wheel barrel. Uh, and then I'm going to move on to the thinner medium size wheel woolly uh, just to get to the smaller spoke gaps uh, and also the area between the brake caliper uh, and the wheel. So whilst I crack on there with the brushes, uh, I'd just like to take a moment to say if you like what you see here on the channel, uh, then consider supporting us. We've turned the ads off and that's going to be the plan to turn them off until the channel has grown to a size where we think it's appropriate to turn them on. And the ways you can support us are very simple. Subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down or leave a comment. If you can all do that, then it's all going to help the channel to grow uh, and it's all going to help to keep the content coming. Now that the wheel barrel has been sufficiently cleaned, we can move on to the wheel face. Uh, so tight work first, uh, what I'm going to do is clean up around the badge and the wheel nuts using this small bristled brush uh, and paying extra attention to just the tiny areas where the brake dust has built up, um, for example around the uh, air valve um, as well as the areas I've already mentioned. And then once that's complete, we move on to the wheel mitt. Uh, for me, I use a wheel mitt, which is from a company called Wowo. Um, I've used that for a lot of years. It is perfect uh, for cleaning wheels. It does everything I want it to. Uh, so for me, I work in a methodical pattern, making sure that I'm grabbing around the back of the uh, spoke, um, just so I can get the brake dust off the back of there, um, and making sure that I don't miss any spots. It's very easy when cleaning wheels to miss areas that you can't quite see. So by working round in a methodical manner, you'll make sure that you get to every little bit. And sometimes it's just worth at the end having a look up and into areas that are below your viewpoint uh, and making sure that you've got every bit of brake dust uh, just so it doesn't ruin the finish.
and now that that's all done you can really see uh, the shine starting to come through already so it just needs a good and thorough rinse just make sure that we get any uh, product off the wheel uh, being that this is acid you don't want it to sit even though this is a lacquered finish acid sitting on any area for long enough as you'd imagine is going to be detrimental And now we take a look at the finished results for the wheel cleaner. Uh, for me, I think this has done a fantastic job. Uh, there are some black specks on the inside of the wheel barrel, uh, but these are really baked on from the heat of the brake discs. Uh, and really what these are going to need are a, a combination of a tar remover, a stronger acid, uh, and or a fallout remover just to get these out. Uh, so all in all, thoroughly happy with the wheel cleaner. Uh, I think this has done a great job. And now onto the tire dressing. Uh, so the wheel, uh, excuse me, the tire face was cleaned as per the instructions on the wheel cleaner. Um, no footage of that, I'm sorry. Uh, but then onto the tire dressing. I used to back in the day, I've been using Auto Glim for a, a lot of years. It was the brand that I started out on. Um, but I used to spray directly onto the tire, uh, which is fine. It's not great because what you're going to do is get the spray travel uh, onto the wheel or down the car onto the paintwork. So what I like to do is spray it onto a foam applicator and then just buff it in to the tyre from there. With most tyre dressings you have a little bit of flexibility over the uh, achieved finish in that if you buff off the product whilst it's almost dry uh, then you can achieve a matte finish uh, as opposed to a glossy or a shiny finish. Uh, so that's just what I'm trying now just to show you guys the two finishes. There's no right or wrong here. Some people have a preference one way, some have a preference the other. And now for me, I tend to go for more of a matte tire dressing. But in this particular tire dressing instance, uh, I think it does look better uh, when it's not buffed. It uh, tends to just make the tire look slightly undressed when you buff it off. Uh, not bad, but not great. Uh, so for me, when I use this uh, and for yourselves, uh, I would say to apply it. Uh, and then just let it sit and dry into the tire to give you that darkened left finish that you see there. And finally we move on to protecting the wheels. Uh, so this step should come after the tire dressing so that you can remove any tire dressing that you got onto the wheel. Um, this is going to help the protector to really take uh, the best possible effect. Uh, and it's a really simple application, uh, it's just an aerosol can, so just spray away, make sure you hit all the areas. Auto Glim say there's no real issue if you hit the brake uh, pad and disc, uh, as that tends to get scrubbed off pretty quickly uh, once you brake anyway. Uh, but what it does say when you apply this uh, is that it should give around about 6 weeks durability, um, and you'd get around about 16 wheels per can of spray, so if you used it only on your own car, uh, then you're going to be looking roughly six months of protection from one can. Now, from my experience, I applied this when this was filmed in the autumn of last year, uh, and it wore this protector throughout the winter, and it was still showing signs of protection when the car was cleaned uh, in late winter, early spring. So it does do exactly what you'd want it to, uh, and it leaves a nice finish too. All in all, would I recommend these products? Absolutely. Auto Glim are fantastic at making simple, easy to use products that work. Given how large they are, they need to be very broad in terms of making sure that your average consumer, your more experienced consumer, your complete novice are all going to have fantastic results with their products and it shows through. Um, they're easily available, Amazon, Halfords, all of these places you can get them from. I'll put some links below. Um, but if you like what you see, then check them out. And uh, if not, then have a look on my channel for other videos. Hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon for the next one.